People who live with epilepsy or care for a loved one with the disease know all about the seizures that come with it. But what they may not know is that there is an uncommon but fatal complication associated with the disorder. It is called SUDEP, or Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. Dr. Cynthia Hardin is lead author of a new American Academy of Neurology guideline on SUDEP. It means that a person with epilepsy who is otherwise healthy dies suddenly, within minutes, um, not from any other cause, and it often occurs after a generalized tonic-clonic seizure. Each year, SUDEP kills one in 1,000 adults with epilepsy and one in 4,500 children with epilepsy. The American Academy of Neurology and the American Epilepsy Society have released a new medical guideline to help patients, families, and caregivers better understand SUDEP and its risk factors. A high risk factor is generalized tonic-clonic seizures that involve the entire body with convulsions and loss of consciousness. The more generalized tonic-clonic seizures you have, the higher your risk of SUDEP. If you have three generalized tonic-clonic seizures per year, it increases the risk by 15 times or so. It's not really that many seizures that can really impart a greatly increased risk. The guideline shows that reducing the number of tonic-clonic seizures could lower the risk of SUDEP. Ideally, the number of generalized tonic-clonic seizures should be zero per year to really reduce the risk. It is important for people with epilepsy to talk with their neurologist. Take the medicine regularly. If you have a problem taking it regularly, communicate to your physician why. There are other options as well besides medications, and that can include surgical approaches. Epilepsy surgery can involve brain surgery or can involve peripheral surgery, such as implantation of the vagus nerve stimulator. It should be modifiable. We should be able to reduce the risk of SUDEP with more aggressive, more thoughtful therapy approaches and strong communication, strong therapeutic alliance between the patient and the caregiver. To learn more about SUDEP, visit aan.com guidelines.